A Pan-Asian feast in a beautiful Nepalese-style restaurant or quick service authentic Asian fare? Find out your Yakinyeti options at Walt Disney World here today on Walt Disney World Adults Only. Welcome to Royal Highnesses, I'm Dan and you're watching Walt Disney World Adults Only. Now today I want to tell you all about one of my favourite table service restaurants at Disney's Animal Kingdom and about the quick service sister restaurant too. Both are located in Asia at Animal Kingdom and they both provide guests with some wonderful dining options. So I'm going to tell you a bit about both restaurants and then I'm going to be joined by Jackie, Carol and Leanne who are going to tell you about their experiences dining at these two restaurants. Excitingly, we also have a new presenter to introduce you today as well. Mickey is a moderator on our Facebook group and she is joining our presenting team and she'll be here for the first time today to tell you about her experience of dining at Local Foods Cafe. Now, I have dined at both Yak and Yeti and Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe myself and at the end, I'll give you my experiences of dining at these amazing restaurants. So for the price of one video, you are gonna get five different reviews. Bargainers. Before we get started, please hit subscribe and then tell me in the comments down below, have you dined at Yak and Yeti? Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe, both, neither. Tell me your experiences. So, two restaurants. Let me give you the rundown on both and let's start with Yak and Yeti, the table service restaurant. So I adore this restaurant, owned and operated by Landry's. This restaurant is themed like a quaint village home. It looks deceptively small from the outside, but inside the restaurant is expansive with stairs leading up to a second floor. Everywhere you look, there is a display of Southeast Asian artifacts, kind of like a museum. And the menu here is definitely for the more adventurous diner, although they do have some basic staples for those who are not so adventurous with their food. The food here is delicious and the price point is reasonable considering the portion size, the flavors, and the quality of the food. Yak and Yeti opens for dinner and lunch. And when the Disney dining plan was being offered, this place was one table service credit per person. And what a great use of a credit this place is. So let's move on to Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe next. And I'll tell you a bit about this one and then we'll get some reviews. Now this is just outside and it's a walk up counter service with a nice seating area to the side. You can get some of the menu items served at Yak and Yeti table service here as well, but they're served in slightly smaller portions. Local Foods Cafe opens for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And when the dining plan was being offered, it was one quick service credit per person. This place is a great option for grabbing some really good food without requiring a reservation. I have to say that pricing here is really reasonable, certainly comparable to other quick service restaurants across Walt Disney World. You can get some great snacks here too, pork egg rolls and chicken fried rice. Great filling food for quite a low price. So that's the basics of these two restaurants. We're now gonna talk about the food and the experiences here. Let's get some reviews. And I think we'll start with Jackie, who last dined here, table service Jackie Yeti, back in 2020. Jackie, tell us your experience. Thanks, Dan. I did eat at Yak and Yeti back in January of 2020. It seems like ages ago now. Yak and Yeti is such a busy place. Even though I had a reservation, I still had to wait an extra 15 minutes for my table. And the waiting area is not that large, and there were a lot of people. Once my name was called, I was taken up to the second floor overlooking the downstairs area. It was busy and really noisy. I don't think I could have even held a conversation with somebody if I was traveling with them, so thank goodness I was traveling solo this time. The waiter was attentive as he could possibly be. I saw that he had quite a few tables with quite a lot of people at them. I had the lobster garlic noodles, and it was delicious. It had pieces of lobster, shrimp, scallops, baby spinach, red peppers, shiitake mushrooms, and was tossed in a yummy garlic sauce. It was $30.99. And unfortunately, right now, I'm not seeing it on the menu. However, I hope the next time I dine at Yak and Yeti, they'll have it back. I think it may be one of my favorites. For dessert, I got the fried wontons. They were so yummy. This is comfort food at its finest. It was fried wontons fresh pineapple, vanilla ice cream, and a honey vanilla drizzle. 
you may not want to tackle this on your own and it's definitely one you want to share. Would I dine here again? Probably on one of my future trips. If I couldn't get a reservation, I would probably check out the local foods cafe. The menu seems really delicious and they have breakfast. Breakfasts are usually really hard to find in the parks, surprisingly. So that's my Yak and Yeti experience in a nutshell. You dine here every trip. Isn't that right, Kara? Yes, Jackie. We eat here almost every trip. It's one of our favorite restaurants in all of Walt Disney World. I love the theming. The statues are so cool. They're the Asian flavor to it. It's just a neat little restaurant. Now, we recently got back and of course we had to eat there. Our last meal, as a matter of fact, before we left the park. I had the firecracker shrimp and that was $13.99, I believe. You get a lot of shrimp. There was probably 15 to 25 shrimp in the serving. It's served on a bed of shredded lettuce. So it's almost like a salad and the shrimp. The shrimp was definitely spicy, but you can ask them to tone that down if you don't like it. My husband had the calamari, which was not a typical menu item. I think the price was around the same, $13 to $15.99, if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, we should have only ordered one appetizer to share because both appetizers were huge. So much so that I didn't have room for my favorite dessert, the chocolate pudding cake. I then had the duck. Now, a couple days earlier, I'd had duck at Space 220. Uh, I tend to order duck a lot at Disney World because it's not something I make or even know how to make, actually. So, Space 220's duck was delicious. I really enjoyed it. I thought I'd go back and have more. And then we got to Yak and Yeti's. Yak and Yeti's was better. Yak and Yeti's, the outside was crispier without being dry, and the inside was moister. I would highly recommend the uh, duck at Yak and Yeti. Staff is always fabulous at Yak and Yeti. They're very courteous, and even more so if you have a Landry's card. So what is a Landry's card? A Landry's card gets you points, which lead to dollars off at any Landry's restaurant. Now where I live, there aren't any other Landry's restaurants, so it really doesn't help me to build up points. So why would I get this card? It's $25, but the first time you use it, they take $25 off your meal. So it's a wash. But the benefit of having a Landry's card is that you don't need an advanced dining reservation. If you can't get an advanced dining reservation and you have a Landry's card, you just show up whenever, show them the card, and they seat you the first available seating. So to me, it was worth it, even if I probably would never get money off again, but it was worth it knowing that if I couldn't get an ADR for Yak and Yeti, I could always eat there because I had that Landry's card. You've dined at both restaurants, Leanne. What are your experiences? Thanks, Carol. I've dined at both restaurants and I loved both. I'll tell you about my experience with the quick service restaurant first and then I'll let you know about my table service experience. So, I've dined at the quick service location a couple of times. I tend to go once every trip and I just end up there because I always head towards Everest. I always tend to get the same thing as well. I either get chicken fried rice, the honey chicken or the pork egg rolls. One of the things I do like about this location is the seating outside near the fountain. There's always birds and wildlife and cute things hanging about. I like going there for food because it's not your typical theme park food of chicken tenders, burgers and fries. You get a little bit of variation and a little difference while you're there. I've only ever paid cash once and that was on my last trip and I didn't actually think it was that bad price wise. Every other time I've always just used a quick service credit on the dining plan. The staff in the quick service location, they're always happy and friendly, but it is your typical quick service where they are just trying to get the queue down. The one downside to this location is that it is quite small, so when people are trying to avoid the burgers and chips, they do head there and you can end up with quite a big queue that you need to try and get your way through. 
you'll notice a pattern with food I order in Yak and Yeti. So even in the table service restaurant, I tend to go for the honey chicken. It's really nice and it's not something we can get over here. And again, I do tend to go for the pork egg rolls. But I have had the lo mein and it was really tasty. I would recommend it. I've never paid cash in Yak and Yeti in the table service part. I've only ever used dining credits. And for the food, it's always been well worth it. The staff were really friendly, were really attentive. There was never a moment where my drink was empty. I am planning to head back to Yak and Yeti and I do want to try the Korean barbecue beef. I've heard it's delightful and the pictures look absolutely lovely. I would highly recommend it to anybody going dining in Walt Disney World, especially if you're heading to Animal Kingdom. It is one of my favourite restaurants in Animal Kingdom. Well, it's time for you to meet our new presenter, Mickey, a fellow northerner who you are absolutely going to love. She's recently joined our presenting team. So, Mickey, tell us about yourself and your experiences trying the local foods cafe. Thank you, Leanne. Hello, your Royal Highnesses. As Dan and Leanne have said, I'm Mickey. And that's short for Michaela, not because of how big a Disney fan I am. I'm from Yorkshire in England and I've been married for almost 18 years. Yes, I was very young. My husband and I are both massive Disney fans and we don't have children, so we enjoy all of our Disney trips, adult only. So that's enough about me, let's move on to what you're all here for. My experience of Local Foods Cafe. So we visited in October of 2019 and we just wanted a quick lunch on our way around Animal Kingdom. So we actually had the snack items that Dan mentioned earlier as our lunch. We both had a portion of the chicken fried rice and we had a portion of the pork egg rolls to share. To drink we just had free iced water which was a great tip that we picked up just before our trip. So if you don't know already you can get free iced water from any quick service location. You don't actually have to be eating there either. You can just walk up to the counter, ask for it and it'll be provided. Great tip that saved us a fortune. I thought the price that we paid for what we got at Local Foods Cafe was really good value. The chicken fried rice was what I would describe as a full sized portion of food. Now, I like my food and I am not a small portion girl, so I was really pleased with what we got, especially for what we paid. I thought the chicken fried rice was flavorful. Uh, it tasted really nice. It wasn't anything fancy. It was what I would describe as a standard chicken fried rice, um, but it was good nonetheless. The pork egg rolls were also nice. I am a big fan of an egg roll and this didn't disappoint. You can find that egg rolls sometimes are quite greasy, but I didn't find that here. The seating area at Local Foods Cafe is just around the corner from the walk-up window and it's got really good theming. It's like you're in a market in Asia. The tables are all mismatched. Um, I think it's really good theming, but then again, I really like all the theming in Animal Kingdom. I think they have great attention to detail. Overall, it was a good experience, great value for money, the food was good, and I would go here again. So that's my experience. I know you've dined at both of these restaurants, haven't you, Dan? Yes, Mickey, I've eaten at both, and welcome to the team, by the way. So I've only had breakfast at Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe, and at Yak and Yeti table service, I've been there three times, every time for lunch, and boy, what a lunch it is. I'll start with Local Foods Cafe, and like I said, I've only dined here for breakfast, and that was back in 2017. During my planning, I planned to have breakfast at Satuli Canteen on this day, but just before my trip, Satuli Canteen stopped doing breakfast, so I was kind of at a bit of a loss. Anyway, I stumbled across Local Foods Cafe and saw the menu, and they had some really, really great breakfast options on the menu. So I had a sausage, egg and cheese English muffin which came with hash brown bites and I had an orange juice too. It was really easy to find a table and the food was totally delicious, just what I needed to start the day. It was kind of just like a McDonald's breakfast sausage and egg McMuffin but it was better quality and it was much nicer. I was on the Disney dining plan back then and I used a quick service credit to pay for it and I thought it was quite a reasonable use for credit 
But if I was paying out of pocket, it was probably a little bit pricey. It was quite expensive for a breakfast. I will just say really tasty food though. I would definitely have it again. Now onto the table service and Yak and Yeti, and I have dined here on three different occasions, 2015, 2017, and 2019. And it was booked as well for my 2020 trip, which was canceled. So I'll start off by saying really good service, and really delicious food every time. The staff here are really friendly, really helpful with the menu, and they are so attentive, unlike some of the other restaurants you'll find across property. So my only complaint about this restaurant is the time it takes them to seat you, and this has been the case on all three occasions. If I've got a reservation at 1 p.m., I do not expect to still be waiting in the lobby at 1.45 p.m. That is a waste of my part time. So my only complaint is they don't seat you efficiently enough. And I kind of think this problem occurs partly because they allow the Landry's members to skip the line. So if you're a Landry's member, you don't need to have a reservation. So they kind of come in and they get a priority table, which I totally understand is you're kind of, you've, you've paid for your Landry's card and so you get priority. But don't do that over the people that are already waiting for a table that have already checked in. That said, I'm quite likely to become a Landry's member myself ahead of my next trip. The restaurant is a bit like being in a museum. There is literally so much to look at around the restaurant. Personally, I prefer sitting upstairs. It's a little bit quieter up there. It's a little bit cooler up there. And you get some really, really stunning views across Animal Kingdom. It really is so picturesque and beautiful. The food here is always full of flavor, a little spicy and always served hot. I have a few staples here that I really do love and I typically tend to get some of the same things over and over again. Appetizers, now there is one here that is an absolute must for me and that is the firecracker shrimp. This is the best firecracker shrimp I found in the whole of Walt Disney World and it's even better than the boathouse. But the wok fried green beans are wonderful too. I know, green beans, but they're battered and fried and they're served with a sweet chili dip. So good. Don't judge me until you taste them. $13.99 for the shrimp and $11.99 for the green beans. Get them both and do not share them. You can also get the green beans as a side order, so bear that in mind as well. That's priced at $9.99 if you get them as a side for your mate. For the main courses, I love the honey chicken and the jasmine rice. They are both delicious. And also the coconut shrimp they do there too. The duck looks incredible, as well as the Korean beef. I could literally find so many things I wanna eat on this menu. But my go-to options here so far have been the honey chicken and the coconut shrimp, priced at $20.99 and $25.99 respectively. These are both really good options. The desserts here are really wonderful. The mango pie is quite good, but I particularly like the cream cheese and pineapple fried wontons served with honey and ice cream. For a dessert, this is quite light, but really quite tasty. And on my last trip, I had a pineapple upside down cake, which was just out of this world incredible. I'm not seeing it on the menu anymore, but if that comes back, get the pineapple upside down cake. Desserts at Yak and Yeti are around $11. I've used the Disney dining plan here on all three of my visits, and it's a really good use for credit. On my last trip though, we had the deluxe plan, and that included the appetizer as well. Three courses for lunch was too much food. Just have the two. Although which two would you have? Because appetizer and desserts here are both so good. I know, go here for dinner and have all three courses. They also have a really great cocktail menu here too. And on my last trip, I had the pink Himalayan, which was really, really nice. This was Tanqueray gin, pink grapefruit juice, passion fruit, and lemongrass. Now I'm a gin lover and this was a real treat. All in all, I absolutely 100% recommend Yak and Yeti, and I recommend Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe for breakfast. I still need to try the lunch and dinner here. So, have we persuaded you to dine at Yak and Yeti or Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe on your next visit? If we have, please tell us in the comments down below, and if we haven't, please tell us why. Also, you can ask us any questions at all, and we're always happy to answer them. We now have so many videos about dining at Walt Disney World. We've put them all into a huge playlist for you. I'll put a link to that playlist in the description down below, and if I'm smart, a link should pop up here for you as well. For now though, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you like this video, please click and give us a thumbs up. 
please tell us in the comments what videos you would like to see on our channel in the future. Please make sure to subscribe and then click that bell so you'll get notifications when our next video drops. And as always, remember to join our Adults Only Facebook group where we will continue this discussion and many, many more. And in the meantime, remember, never grow up.